Good morning. Every time she comes to court, Cheyenne Jenkins sits behind her fiance on trial for murder. In earlier hearings and even now, Aaron Hernandez mouths, I love you to her. How will her love show now that she's been granted immunity, forcing her to testify as a prosecution witness against him? She's a fiance. Normally, a fiance is not going to testify adversely against her true love. So the very fact that she gets on the witness stand and provides evidence that may prove Hernandez to be a murderer um, is highly unusual. Will her testimony hurt or help him? The former Patriot tight end is accused of driving Odin Lloyd to an industrial park and orchestrating his execution in June 2013. Lloyd was shot six times in the back and front. Jenkins is suspected of ditching the 45 caliber murder weapon used to kill Lloyd, who was dating her sister. The day after his death, authorities say Hernandez sends his fiance a coded message. Go in back of the screen in movie room when you get home, and there is a box just in case you were looking for it. Remember how you ruined the big TV? Was just thinking about that. Laugh out loud. Wink, wink. Love you. Talk to you later, okay? Prosecutors say Jenkins is seen on this video just before putting the gun inside a black trash bag, borrowing her sister's car, and getting rid of the bag, but not remembering where. She's pleaded not guilty to lying before a grand jury. If she sticks to that story... The very fact that she tells this story about, oh, I picked up a garbage bag, oh, by the way, I don't remember where I dumped it, and that bag, prosecutors say, is the bag that had the murder weapon in it, um, I think she's going to look part of the murder conspiracy, and it's going to hurt the Hernandez case. The defense is demanding to know what prosecutors might have promised her in return for immunity. But for now, there's no way of knowing what she'll say when she takes the stand. Susan Candiotti, CNN Fall River, Massachusetts. And attorney and radio personality Mo Ivory is still here with us. So, Mo, this is a big moment in this case. Let's handicap it. What say you? Is she getting on that stand? And if she does, what impact does it have in this case? Oh, I think she's definitely getting on the stand. I mean, she's between a rock and a hard place. She has nowhere good to go. She's either going to be held in contempt. She already has a indictment on um, perjury. And now they have this story. And now she has an agreement for immunity. Listen, she is about to either turn him over and she is about to say it was the gun and I got rid of it and I lied before and I was afraid Ouch. and I didn't know what to do and I don't, you know, I had to, I had to protect him. To which a jury can very much believe that story. She was scared. She didn't know what to do. She lied. Right. But she will say, I am not lying now. I am uh, not you know lying now. And that's the point, Mo, and that's why I think, you know what, maybe she doesn't take the stand, maybe she gets held in contempt, and she spends some time in jail instead. What do right you think? Now, well, you know, she does have a child that she has to take care of, so, you know, he's, he's in jail, she could be in jail. I just don't know that a mother would put, I mean, what a question. Are you going to put your freedom before your fiancé's freedom in order to leave your child possibly with no parents? I mean, what? that is the big question. Well, she won't be held in court for, I mean, in jail forever. She'll no. be held in jail for, you know, a limited period of time upon which she'll be released. She has other members to care. But I agree with you, Mo. She's in between a rock and a hard place, a major development. I yes. can't wait to see what happens. Yes. Mo, don't go anywhere. Please don't go. And you at home, don't go anywhere because the Hernandez trial, as we know, the jury got to take a field trip. Now, they went to the scene of the crime. They went inside Hernandez's home. They went to a number of places. So up next, the one thing that was missing from Hernandez's house when they got there, when jurors walked through it.